It was quite a weekend in Prince Rupert. From Friday through Sunday morning, more than a thousand athletes participated in the Northern BC Winter Games. Prince Rupert bid several years ago to host the games, but the future of the event is a bit uncertain. CFTK TV's Sahar Nazimdust tells us it'll be a while before those athletes can compete again. Over 1,100 athletes and coaches filled the gymnasium of the Civic Centre to participate in the game's opening ceremony, but there was a bittersweet undertone. 100 Mile House backed out of hosting the event next year, and now that it will become a biennial event, the next time the Northern BC Winter Games will take place in the North, it will be 2013. We felt that um, we wanted to transition to offer a, 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 an off-year event that focused uh, just not on the, on the games itself, but focusing on, on um, queries we heard from sport organizations, and that includes uh, improved coaching clinics, improved officiating clinics, um, other information, and, and we figured we could provide that. I'm kind of disappointed because it's a good tournament, like probably the best one of the year. I'd say. And to stay safe in the games that you can participate in. Liberal Cabinet Minister Ida Chong says despite the economy and proposed funding cuts to sports organizations throughout the province's schools, Gordon Campbell's government continues to acknowledge the importance of sports, particularly in the north. The province this year has still, in spite of the economic challenges, committed $38 million for sport and sport development. So uh, we do believe that we're still encouraging sport happening, but we need to partner more with communities and do as best as we can for the benefit of our athletes. Everybody remembers Carol Wynn, the wrestler from Hazleton. It was events like the Northern BC Winter Games that Olympic gold medalist Carol Wynn got her start as a wrestler and eventually made it onto the Olympic podium. Most of the athletes we spoke to will still be eligible to participate in the Games in three years' time. While they said the break wasn't a negative one, during that time they will continue participating in their chosen sport at smaller scale local events. The Northern BC Winter Games Society says while the next host community has not been chosen yet, an announcement for the Society's official plans are expected to be made in the fall. For CFTK TV News in Prince Rupert, I'm Sahar Nassim Deust.